Okay, hello everybody. Uh, it is 4.30, so we are going to, to start and hope that uh, more of you will uh, join us um, during the, these few minutes. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining us this, uh, this afternoon for this um, player challenge. Uh, first, just a um, quick question. Do everybody see my screen? Yeah, yeah I can see. Sounds good, perfect. Um, so I introduce really quickly myself. So I'm Matt and uh, today we will be two coach leading this um, session. I will be with, uh, with Delaney. So I don't know Delaney if you want to introduce yourself quickly. Hi, everybody. It's nice to be here with you today. I see a lot of familiar names. So thanks for hopping on. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so first, uh, I know perhaps some of you will be surprised about this uh, name of player challenge. So it's always hard to know what really it's about. So a quick introduction for what we are going to do tonight. Um, so this player challenge, what would you do challenge is about really promote the perception and decision making process. So it will be a lot about um, what would you see, what would you see during a situation and what are you able to decide based on the situation. So I really like this, uh, I don't know if you know this little animal. Um, it's really, the video we would like to link, it's a three kate. And I really like because it's really about perception and decision making, but really perception. So scanning the environment, what could, would I see? What would I be able to see? Here it will be on a video, but for sure on the field, I hope you will be like this animal to check all around you to take information. And for sure after you will make a decision. Based on that decision, um, yeah, we we'll try to promote ownership and leadership. So do not hesitate to uh, say, share your opinion, say what you want to say. It's really important. Um, and especially be critical. So do not hesitate to give an opinion. There is no right, no wrong answer. The most important is to argue. Just say the why. Um, so the organization, um, I will show, or we will show a video clip and the video clip will freeze at a specific time. And at this time, we will ask you, what would you do at this moment based on the situation? So here is the overview of this uh, player challenge, um, player challenge session. Oh. I think we have enough of the sweet eight. <laughs> The rules and the context, it's important because uh, we are going to see video. Um, so I really want to be clear about the rules and the mindset we must have during this session. Uh, so as we say at the beginning, if you want to promote ownership and leadership, every opinion is acceptable. We say there is nothing wrong, there is nothing through. Even it's come from me or Delaney, there is not a wrong, uh, no wrong or right answer but this must be always argue. Um, we will also show a video about some players that are in the club, okay? Uh, it will be really short session. Um, and the most important, no judgment on the player from the video. Uh, we are all player here. We know uh, it's difficult to see yourself on the video. It's not difficult to see someone else on the video. So we are not here to judge. We are just here to share opinion and be critical about soccer. And for sure the video was not choice because of one, it's one player or another player. I just choose a video because of the situation I want to, to show. Um, also important uh, because here it will be video, it's digital, um, must be always uh, be careful about the difference with reality. Uh, because in the reality, we have to manage emotion. We are on the field, there will be pressure, every kind of thing, every things like that. Here it's simple, we are on our seat, we have time to see the video and make a decision. 
So it will be always something you must take into account. Um, also on the video, we have a certain angle of view in the reality, perhaps the player have another also um, angle of view. So all these things is really important to take into account when we are going to, to share opinion and also to, to think what are the players are doing on the field. So yeah, probably a quick introduction, but I think really important just to have the good mindset during uh, this, uh, this organization. Um, about organization also important um, to also for us to be really efficient and be really effective with you. Um, if you have any question or any remark, please write on the chat. You can write on the chat uh, and Delaney will answer you or you can um, write to Delaney uh, directly from the chat. So Delaney will be here to manage conversation if you have any question or anything. So don't hesitate to write into the chat and we are going to reply to you as fast as possible. Delaney, any things I forgot about organization? Okay. So how is going to happen? Um, first, just about a focus on uh, the phase of play we are going to work on. It's important to have a process in order to have a good reflection. After uh, what will be the process about the reflection to, to us, uh, after then share your opinion, um, for sure give you the video clip. And based on that, at the end, the most important part have your feedback, have your opinion about what would you do uh, related to the video clip. And by the end, we are going to do a quick conclusion. If we try to give perhaps some uh, cues or some uh, help about uh, uh, decision making. So before started, uh, we, are, we are on what would you do challenge and uh, perception and decision making. A quick video and uh, I hope you will be challenging based on that and uh, be ready to pay attention. So this is not the challenge, a little ad because of YouTube. So hope you are not hungry tonight and you will wait for eating. Okay, I didn't see, I don't know if a lot of you have found uh, the answer, what's most important. So as some of you, if you can watch on the chat, I don't know if some of you have noticed the seven change in the background. So if you have noticed some change in the background, please note in the chat, just to start to be ready about perception and decision making. So did you notice the seven chains in the background? If no answer, I think you are focused on the cards. Doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. So yeah, to be honest, I'm always like this also. I never see anything of that. And okay, so it was a quick challenge um, just to pay attention and also to be aware 
that that uh, yeah before decision making we must show everything and it's the same in the game not be focused on the ball if you try to compare not be focused on the ball but be focused on everything is around but we must also pay attention to the ball that also what's happened everywhere around us so just a quick connection so with the game and what we are going to do next No, no, I think we have enough. So first, we are going to work on the, the phase of play of um, build up to advance. So just a few minutes, perhaps one minute, and what build up to advance means to you. If I said we are going to, to the phase of play, build up to advance, what does it mean to you? So you have one minute, and after write uh, perhaps in the chat, what does build up to advance mean to you? It's important because also we are going to connect that with the decision making you are going to make after. If as a team we are going to build up to advance, what does it mean as a team? So if you have any ID, you can put in the chat. Yeah, everyone on the field have to move up. Thanks, Lorraine. Any other proposition? Try to build an attack forward, okay. And go to goal, it's a really crucial, it's simple, but that's important. The aim is to go to goal. Any other thoughts from you guys? Oh, here we are really specific. So starting with the four and the five and getting up through the middle and touch the, the wing area. Any other things? Okay, um, so yeah, it's important just to have some ID. And as you see, we have three answers, but based on that three answers, we have some things different, uh, um, but also some crucial meaning. And it's important to have already a, a philosophy of an intent of what is built up to advance before or after to have an intent and try to make decision. I will not answer yet, but try also to think what build up mean because we have heard a lot about that, but what's about build-up? So yeah, now based on that, we are going to uh, be very concrete before starting the video. So take a sheet of paper. If you have one, it will be important. And um, in this sheet of paper, try to uh, make this sheet of paper in four parts. The first part will be, what did you see? So here be really factual on what you see on the video. Uh, what is the problem? What it's in front of you, but very factual. And the problem is happen when the video is stopped. That's really important. The problem, it's not the entire video. It's when we stop the video, what did you see? And this is now, this is important. So we really judge, we are going to argue when the video stop. So the second part will be based on what you see. What is your intent? What is your intent as a team? And what is your intent perhaps also as a player? But not only the ball owner, but also all the other player who are on the screen and you think must do some things. So what is your intent? After the but then what important information did you to take this decision? So why did you take, did you make the decision? Why did you want to do this intent? 
what implemented information make you decide that. And after the second one, how do you want to achieve your intent? So that is the four area. Any question about that? You can write in the chat to Delaney or ask to everyone. So first, what I see, based on that, what is my intent? Not only the ball owner as a team and also the players. Why did you make this choice? And how do you want to realize it? So here is uh, an example of the, the sheet of paper you could have. I let you just a little time to write it. Okay, so we will share with you the link of the video. So you could, uh, after access this video, do not access right away, but we are going to, to share with you at one moment the link to the video. So I just show you the video from a collective state of point. So here is the video we are going, you are going to access. And the video stopped there. So what would you do at this moment? So what you see at this moment, what will be your intent? What information is important for you to take your decision or your intent? And how do you want to achieve it? So I'll show you a second time. Another. Okay. Oops, sorry. So we are going to share with you after this link. After, we will share with you also the big picture, just you have the video, but also to have an overview when the video stops uh, on how the players are organized. And it will give you perhaps an idea and a help to make your decision, to have a bigger picture. So we will have about five and six minutes of individual work on the video that we're using the link we are going to share with you on the chat and fill the four parts on your paper. And just after, who can be, I would say be brave and be ready to share his opinion to everybody following the different, the different step of the process and present his entire reflection. And as I said, no right or wrong answer. It will be just the important is to follow the process and argue your decision. Sounds good? So we share the video link and the picture link on the chat. And you have five and six minutes individual start from now. And after five or six minutes, you, we will ask you if the, some of you wants to share his opinion. And if you want to ask question, anything like that, you can write on the chat to me or Delaney. There is no problem at all. So five minutes, follow the process and after everybody is ready to chair.
I'll just go back just to show you the, the process as you will see that. So that's good. If we see no question in the chat, everybody is ready. So that's the good things. Okay, two minutes left. One minute. Yeah, I try also to put some little stress and timing because yeah, it's good. You have time. We are on the video, but on the field, you have uh, less than one second to decide. And okay, um, so the process now, we are going to ask if some of you wants to share. Um, before you share, I will put the video again two times just for everybody to remind the video and then um, you will be able to share following the process, no problem at all. Do we have any volunteer? So don't be afraid. There is no judgment, no right or wrong. The aim is just to follow the process, share your opinion. I can share if you want. Okay, sounds good, Lauren. Uh, so first, wait, I will just show the video just two times for everybody to refresh his mind. So one more. And okay, so we are here. So Loen, first you have the, the lead to, to share your opinion. Okay, so going through the process, I noticed that I have some open space, but then a lot of people around me are marked up. Uh, the outside defender, seems that she could be in a dangerous position if I did play it to her. So maybe that's not the best option. I thought that the best option might be the outside mid who's a little bit beyond on the same side. You can't really see in the video, but on the picture, it's a little bit more clear. Yeah. Um, and then by doing this, you would break the line of the opponent, which would be good. Um, so you'd either play it through at the gap of the opponent, or you could play it over the top of them since the outside mid has a lot of space. Um, so the information to guide you would help if um, it would really help if the outside mid was calling for the ball or if you told them that's where you're playing it. And then how would you achieve it um, by either playing it over the top of the opponent or through a gap? Okay, that's a good one. So if I just summarize, uh, so what do you see? So. The outside, as you say, there is uh, the outside mid and the outside uh, also back who are pretty using the width, or you see there is a, 
an option there. You see also a gap between two defenders. So your intent will be to break lines, so to move forward. Um, and after, how do you, what information make you decide that? So it's the space between defender and also perhaps the outside mid will check to the balls, so ask for the balls. And how do you want to do it? To do it, play over the defender or play through. Is that correct? Yep. Okay. Um, any other proposal? Thanks, Roy. Perhaps something's different. Um, one thing that you could do is you could do um, a bounce pass with the oh, three. So wait, the wait, 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 please, Claire. Um, th thanks first to, to, to take the lead. Could you just, um, for the same things following the process? Um, so you could look to see, um, look to the two or three and have a bounce pass with the two or three. Um, and then you could play it back out to the seven or 11 to draw away the defenders. So you could play to their feet and, um, that would draw the defender away and give a cleaner pass. So you would have a better opportunity with a breakaway. Um, and how you would do it is, well, you would just bounce the pass back and then play to feet. Um, yeah. Okay. So if I write just, a just a question as um, you will be very, you are, they think that this, this is really some good things and it's about really some uh, individual intent. Um, uh, what would be your intent as a team? What would you want to do as a team based on what you say? To move forward. Okay. Sounds good. So we have two, Two first uh, people who, who, who the first intent is to move, move forward. Do we have some intent perhaps not moving forward here in the attendance in the public? Or everybody wants to move forward as an intent? You could play back to the goalie. Oh. Who, who's talking, sorry? Jocelyn. Yeah, Jocelyn, so you can share. I said you could play back to the goalie. Okay, so that's a good thing. So just uh, could you follow the process just to describe what do you want? Do you choose this intent? Um, the intent is to get out of trouble and um, avoid the other team from scoring. So you could play it back to the goalie and like reset almost. So your outsides can get wider and then yeah, just so they have more help. Yeah, so we have a good things. Here's perhaps it's just a choice. We see that perhaps uh, we want to play back because we are feeling perhaps, and this is the importance. What information could, could make you decide to play back? Why um, do you make this choice? Well, the goalie could say, or they could talk and then let the player with the ball know that they're open. Yeah. So mainly, if it's a Dennis team, it's interesting to to go back on that. When we say play back to the goalie, it's not, and this is the purpose of build ups. The first question I ask you sometimes when you want to build up is to create another space after to move forward. So perhaps at this moment, if you see that there is no space or there is no other. In move forward, you can play back, create another space and perhaps move forward after. So yeah. Any other proposal, any other intent or other way perhaps to move forward? Okay. So thanks to Jocelyn, Claire, and uh, Lauren. If you have any other willingness to share, do not hesitate. So I just go back on the big picture. Um, 
and try to to have a look and uh, we will go back just then after about perhaps some um, perception markers that could help you to decide and from all the feedback you give me you 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 told about space you told about your teammates and the opponent and i think that's all the i would say the cues that we were sharing we are sharing about space and teammates and opponents and as you see and that's related to the first question what is build up to advance mean it's how could we try to create space or to create an opportunity to move forward if we don't have this opportunity could we try to play back and build up again but after if we want to get forward what is a good opportunity to move forward you have noticed here that uh, because i don't know where they are i have uh, i don't put the three other black defender so there is also normally there is the four the five and the outside back of the um, the opponent here so we could play to this player but perhaps this player will be just one vs three so is it a good moment to move forward or could we try to create some things perhaps to be in a better position to deal we could play back to the goalie and i heard from some of you that we could use the two outside back so if we play back to the goalie perhaps we could build up and go in another space that could be also another opportunity what other also important information we could see what we see and it could be important it's that the central area is congested so here they are four v2 so perhaps it will be an area where we must get out or it could be an area where we could draw the opponent and after move to another space so there is many 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 opportunity you could choose um, to start to, to wait to build up and create this opportunity to move forward but the most important is what information guides your decision Any comments, any perhaps other thoughts that's come to you during the, this moment or perhaps other proposal? Or perhaps key information you think it's important to be aware of? Okay. Delaney, do you want to add some things? Um, I think a great job for those of you that hopped in to share. If you haven't and you have any ideas, I think it's really important. Uh, this environment uh, with Matt and I is really to have an open dialogue. So if you feel like, oh, I don't know, oh, I don't want to throw anything out there that could be wrong. Um, that's not what this space is for. It's for you to uh, share what ideas you have so we can really talk about them and learn from each other's ideas. So good job if you've already done that. If you haven't and you're feeling a little nervous, I would really encourage you to uh, take that chance, take a risk, push yourself out of your comfort zone because the more uh, you're willing to share, the richer the experience will be for all of us here. So any perhaps other volunteer who feel confident after the, the good motivation of Delaney to share to share some things? And as you said, there is no right and wrong. The important is just to give you information. Okay. So a little conclusion. So just a note about, and this is the key things, what information are important to make a decision? 
on the field. So there is just some example. Um, so the most important you see is, as we said, just the, the four big topic, the space, the Claire, um, Lauren and Jocelyn of talking about the space, about different uh, space that could be used or space that could be used to play. They talk, they talk also about teammates and opponent. I know Lauren based or chose be, because of what opponent is close from the ball and teammates and what teammates is away from the ball and could be a good matter to find. Um, numerical superior, superiority or inferiority could be also good things. Um, if I take the feedback of Jocelyn, if I'm not wrong, if I understand correctly, she chose to play back to the goalie because perhaps uh, there is too many opponents in an area and she wants perhaps half teammates closer to the ball. I don't know. And there is other also big topic that is important to take into account, the time. And it, it's mainly related to the space. So especially the pressure. As you see here, the ball owner, the, I think it's the five who have the ball, plenty of space for her. So perhaps it could be an information to make a decision to run with the ball, for example, I don't know. Um, so depend on the pressure. Do you have a time advantage or not? And the other last one is about transition. Try to always think about perhaps what is going to happen if you win the ball or if you lose the ball. So here is the four topic. Just doesn't matter if you um, don't retain everything, but just the four big topic, space, teammates, opponent, time, and transition. And the four of you who are talking, use this, uh, this topic to explain the choice. Also important decision is where it happens on the field. Um, so I put this horizontal channel, but there is also um, the vertical channel, but there is also horizontal channel. Um, I think it's Sophia, and uh, I think, I don't remember the, the other right on the chat, um, about what builds up to advance mean for you. You say it happens in your half, and you want to move to the other half, to go to the goal. So it's also important. The, the situation happen in your half. So perhaps you will um, react in a different manner that the situation happen in the opponent half. So key things. And after, I think you will not react perhaps the same way if the ball is in the central channel close to your goal, um, or if the ball is on the wide channel away from your goal. And it could be a key things to play, perhaps play back to the goalie as Jocelyn said. So I go back just to the, and it doesn't matter if you don't have any ID, but don't hesitate to write if you have some. I go back to the um, perception makers and uh, try just to write on the chat if you want some things that you think you miss or could be very important to, to take into account to make a decision. If you have some things perhaps that you miss in these perception makers to guide you to decide what could it be. In our situation. No, and uh, Ashley, thanks for writing. Um, and there is no, as I say, no right or wrong answer. You could, you could play forward, there is no problem. Uh, th this is the intent and this is what is really important and why really is about this player challenge. It's not about saying through what you say is true or what you say is wrong. It's just about to argue. So 
it's good to moving forward, but why inform what information um, help you to decide to move forward? And perhaps Jocelyn say play back to the goalie, but what information uh, make her decide she could back play to the goalie? So there is no problem at all about that, but perhaps one information here on the screen that you miss and could help you perhaps to decide to moving forward or to play back to the goal. But what you say is totally good, totally true. So if we summarize, what common intent that a team could have in the term builds up to advance? Create space on width and depth. And uh, I think all of you have said that during Jocelyn, Claire, and, uh, ah, um, and Lauren, that you could read and uh, depth. Breaking lines, I heard about that, playing through. So you can try to have an intent to break in lines when you try to build up an advance. You could have an intent to change the path of attack. I have heard about that, that's good. To play back to the goalie, perhaps to change the path of attack and playing somewhere else, that could be another intent. So you see, you have found some, uh, some good things, some good um, behavior here. It's just to have um, a clear process to help you to decide and um, have some good argument. So this is this was session is going to the end. This was um, a first experience for you, but as you heard, that was the first experience to for Delaney and me too. Um, and I think the, during this first session, how him. Uh, were really to uh, first to show what this play and sh challenge is in terms of organization, what it is, showing a clip, freeze it, discussing. And is also uh, the aim was also to show you the importance of the process. So that's why perhaps we take uh, a longer time to describe with the slide to ask what is the process, all that kind of stuff. Um, but for sure, the next challenge for next session, now that, now that you know the process, you know what uh, player challenge, what would you do is, we are going to try to be more challenging. So perhaps have less time to analyze the video. It could be one challenge. Um, perhaps to work by group work. Here you do individual things. Perhaps next time we are going to do some group work and you will be able to share in a group that will be more interesting and more dynamic, interactive. And after the group could share to everyone what uh, his opinion is. We could try to play or, and use more clips, but the same phase of play, but more different clips to have different situation. And perhaps we could also try to compare decision with what could be a decision from a, a professional game of an international game. So that will be the next challenges for the second session. And uh, for sure, we are aware that this first session was uh, perhaps pretty slow, um, pretty, I would say, process meaning. But I think that was important just in terms of uh, first start. So um, Thanks for coming, girls. Um, that was really joyful. Thanks for all of you to be brave first to come to this session and try to work on it. Um, thanks for everybody to participating. Thanks to the one who shared their vision. Um, I hope, as I say, for the next session, that will be more, I will say, intense, more interactive.